Well, hello again. This is John Futrell, a.k.a. John Movies on YouTube. Uh, slightly shorter hair, and in case you can't tell from the uh, background, I just got out of the interview. Yes, the big controversial movie that Sony pulled because they feared offending North Korea. Well, it's in limited release, just a few independent theaters, and one of them, one of the few in Kentucky to show it, right here in Paducah, The Maiden Alley. I'm a frequent customer of this place, and uh, can't say that for everybody here, because the, the manager came out before the show, asked who's, who's here for the first time, and quite a few people raised their hands, so she spent some time plugging the place, and after a few tra trailers, we finally got to see the movie. Wasn't sure what to think of it at first, I mean, because I thought to myself that this is the sort of film that could have made about a fictitious... Uh, they could have done, done like a fictitious dictatorship, a North Korea-like place. Could have used some other name. Maybe have Ken Jeong from The Hangover play the dictator. Probably wouldn't have offended as many people. Wouldn't have... Probably wouldn't have gotten the attention it's gotten. Where now it's almost like a patriotic duty to watch this movie. Well, from my own experience of just seeing this one, I can tell you... It's actually pretty funny. I mean, James Franco's this anchor of a celeb news show. You know, he gets Eminem to come out that he's gay. You know, those sorts of interviews with his producer once more. I mean, they get a chance to interview the, the dictator of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Of course, Franco jumps at it. Rogan's not so sure, but in the end, they make the trip to North Korea. Panic ensues, chaos, and actually pretty funny stuff. I mean, if you I mean, I laughed considerably throughout the film. At first, I thought Franco's character was a complete jerk, an airhead, didn't know what he was doing, but his interview style, let me back up this car is coming through. All right. Like I said, this is the... After all, during the interview, he makes Kim Jong-un look, look like a fool, a sentimental, crying fool, and I guess it's one of the good things about, good things about America, where you can take people down and make... You don't have to kill them. You don't have to lead a revolution. Just make them look stupid on TV, and you depower them that way. And that's what I guess that's one little message of this film. And whether you see it by going to a theater or maybe checking it on YouTube or online streaming through Sony, it's it's worth it. It's a, I thought it was pretty funny. I really enjoyed myself more than I thought I would. So probably next week I'll I was thinking about seeing that Tim Burton film, Big Eyes, Amy Adams, Christoph Waltz. Definitely have to look at that. And maybe some other films, probably something a little more artistic coming here soon. And whatever I see, I'll let you know about it. So until then, this is John Futrell, a.k.a. Jonathan Movies on YouTube. See you at the movies.